Let's make some November donuts. I've never done this before. I have no idea if it's even going to work. Stay to the end to see if it's a failure or fabulous. To make the donuts, you'll need a large bowl, a fork, half a cup of warm milk, three tablespoons of butter, one egg, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla, one and a half teaspoons of yeast, three tablespoons of sugar, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and about two cups of flour. To your bowl, add your half a cup of milk, your butter, your egg and vanilla, and go ahead and mix that up to, to mix up your egg. Now, if your egg was already mixed up, you could just wait a minute until you add your sugar, salt, and yeast. Let's go ahead and mix that in good. Now, if you're not sure your yeast is real active, you could activate it first in your warm milk which you would just put it in your warm milk and let it sit for about five minutes and let it start, see that it's starting to work. All right, after we get that all mixed up good, we're gonna add the flour a little bit at a time. I'm gonna add about a cup of my flour in and start mixing it. It has been so much fun being a part of this collaboration for November. It has been really, really neat seeing what all the ladies have made. I have a lot of recipes that I'm going to be trying that I saw them make. You can check out the playlist in the description below. I'm just adding a little bit of flour at a time to make my dough. This is going to be a soft dough, not a batter like this is. I've used my two cups of flour, so I know I need to add a little bit more because we're gonna need to roll this out. So this is a third of a cup of flour right here and I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. What I want is my dough to form and come away from the sides a little bit, but not be a real stiff dough. I'm gonna go ahead and add that whole third of a cup more. I'm thinking this is still a little bit too wet because we're gonna want our donuts to be able to hold their form. So I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. All right, I've added almost two thirds more cups and I'm just gonna knead this lightly. It doesn't need a heavy, heavy kneading because the bread, it's a very soft bread, soft dough, but you see I can knead it a little bit and it's not sticking all to my hands. All right, now that my dough is ready, I'm gonna take it out of my bowl and I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and I'm gonna rub this around my bowl really good. I'm gonna put my dough back in here and I'm gonna press it down and roll it over where both sides of my dough is oiled really good. I'm gonna cover this and let it rise until it's doubled in size and that should take about an hour and then it will be ready to make into donuts. One hour later. Now that our dough has risen, it's time to make our donuts. You're gonna take a little flour. Oh, speaking of flour, I failed to mention that I'm using spelt flour today. You can use whatever flour you like to use. We like to use spelt a lot around here. So I'm just loosening it, getting some flour underneath the dough. And I'm also gonna put a little flour on my board here. I'm put a little flour on my rolling pin. We wanna roll this dough out to about a half inch thick. And as I was getting my dough out of the bowl, it was also releasing the air that was in it. I have parchment paper here on my cookie sheet where I'm gonna set my donuts to rise. I feel like it's a little thin in the middle here, so I'm just gonna kinda of work it back a little bit. I actually have a donut cutter. Uh, you don't have to have a donut cutter. You can actually use a glass and then have a smaller glass that you can cut the middle out or you can make a hole in the middle. So I'm excited to use my donut cutter for donuts. And there's my first one. And I'm just gonna lay it on my cookie sheet and we'll make donut holes too. So I'm gonna lay those there also. I'll cook them separately because they'll cook a lot quicker than the donuts. 
My next project with donuts will be creating a sourdough recipe. I think that would be delicious. If you're interested in learning how to make sourdough, I have my sourdough ebook, Easy Sourdough Start to Finish. We'll have a link to that down in the description below. And right now, we have a coupon code for half off to celebrate November. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about this. I was supposed to make, be making six donuts, and I'm going to be making more than six donuts with this. So I'm going to put my, flat, my dough back together, and I'll pat it out again. Maybe I'm just going to have a little bit smaller donuts. I don't know. All right, this is the last one. <laughs> it's kind of sticky there. My donut hole and then my last little bit of dough, I'm just gonna roll it in a ball and we'll fry it like that. Notice my donuts were kind of sticking a little bit. So I'm thinking I should have lightly floured my parchment paper because I, I don't need them to be stuck when I pick them up to put, put them in the oil. So I should have well I should have used more flour on my board maybe and then maybe lightly dusted this parchment paper. So we're gonna let these rise. One hour later. The donuts are risen. So we're gonna go ahead and start warming up our oil. We want to heat it to about 350 to 375 degrees. So I'm gonna have the oil heating and we're gonna mix up our glaze. All right, for our glaze, we're gonna use one cup of powdered sugar, one tablespoon of melted butter with a half a teaspoon of vanilla. You can start stirring that in a little bit. And then we're gonna add one tablespoon of milk at a time. The reason we're getting our glaze ready before we fry our donuts is because you want to do the glaze when they're still warm. So I don't wanna have to take time to make the glaze and maybe they cool off too much. All right, there's number two of my milk. It's always good to do a little bit at a time with powdered sugar because once you put too much, you have to go back and add more powdered sugar to it. All right, so it's nice and mixed up. I've only added three tablespoons of milk. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I can quickly add a little more milk if I feel like it's too thick, but I'm afraid of making it too thin. I would rather it too thick than too thin. So we're gonna call it three tablespoons and see how it works. Okay, so here it goes. I think a spatula is gonna work best to pick these up. So we'll see. That worked pretty good. Well, so far so good. You don't do too many at a time because they'll stick together. Ooh, look at that. Wow, it's a little too brown, I think. They cook so fast. Wow, look at that. All right, and I have another baking sheet that I have a cookie cooler, cookie rack on with paper towel underneath to help not make such a mess. I think I'm gonna try and take them out with my fork. Look at that, y'all, I'm excited. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And I'm not, as you can tell, I'm not really deep frying them. I hated to use so much oil because we don't fry that much, so. light. But I think it'll be fine. I'm let it cook a little bit longer. I think I was a little faster with these. And you know, even the ugly ones don't look as ugly once you start cooking them. Because they puff up more. Now, I'm going to put my donut in first and then my holes because the donut holes won't take near as long to cook. Ooh. 
it's hot having your hand over this oil. You know what, I'm gonna use a spoon to try and manage getting all these out. All right, now I'm gonna quickly, quickly put my donuts in and turn them over. And let them dry, drip off a little bit. And that's what, the paper towel catches the oil plus it's going to catch the excess glaze. So I won't have as big of a mess to clean up. And I'm liking the consistency of the glaze. Well, they're not perfect, but I'm thinking they look great. I'm thinking they're fabulous rather than a failure, but here's the taste test to see. If you like sweet treats, check out my cinnamon roll video next. It's linked in the description below. Mm. It's delicious. It's fabulous.